my name is Tom O'Leary and I'm the uh, Chief Operating Officer for Beta Technologies. We're happy to be here at Oshkosh uh, pre presenting our work for the first time, uh, which is all about eVTOL and, you know, electric vertical takeoff and landing is really an inevitable future of aviation because of the, the versatility, the environmental benefits and the dramatic operating cost reductions that, that it's going to provide. And so we're in a rapid uh, research and development cycle and simulation has been arguably the, the most critical factor to accelerating that process, essentially by allowing us to take concepts uh, around configuration, around design trade-offs, uh, and, and put them immediately into an environment where we can test. Uh, so for us, simulation has preceded uh, computational fluid dynamics and, and uh, you know, sort of the, the, the more uh, refined uh, testing tools for aerodynamics and, and configuration. And so simulation for us has been everything. And uh, part of that for us has been that one of the key members of our team is Austin Meyer. And he's the founder uh, and the owner of X-Plane, the flight simulator, a consumer flight simulator. And we use that very same consumer flight simulator to create models uh, that we can test in in the simulated environment. So really everything that we've done, we studied, you know, dozens of configurations um, and, and we took our, our technology and our design choices pretty far down the road uh, using almost, explain almost exclusively. So it, there got to be a cycle in which you're starting at an instance of the aircraft and then you start feeding back information about the actual flying into the simulator. Uh, how, how, how tight is this at this stage? I mean, are you are you uh, flying enough to be able to start informing and perfecting the flight model? Right. Well, the first the first step with simulation is uh, is taking a model, putting it in the simulator, and flying it. The second is uh, with the the actual flight controller, software in the loop, hardware in the loop. Um, and and from there, that's that's the, the where we're doing all of our, our validation. Give us a bit of a time frame where you're at with the with the aircraft. Um, well, so the beauty of the beauty of what simulation enabled us to do is go from a concept uh, of, a, of a working prototype to a flying full scale prototype at over four thousand pounds in just ten months, uh, which is. Uh, by all accounts, a pretty unheard of time frame in terms of taking uh, something from idea to, to flight uh, in, in just that 10 month time frame. So simulation had a massive part to play in that because we were able to take a concept immediately into the simulator and validate whether, and, and that was very important for us because uh, for our first prototype, we were working with an existing platform. We took a Lancer ES fuselage and uh, married uh, our propulsion system to it with a couple of uh, outriggers uh, for the for the propellers. Um, and and so being able to simulate that and the drag that was going to be induced by by those uh, by those outriggers was absolutely key. We had to go into production immediately. And our only validation on, on those outriggers was what we were seeing from the simulator. Uh, how do you deal with the, uh, the ability of uh, design an innovative control system from the human viewpoint that is really kind of easier and makes a difference and is pilot friendly and at the same time safe? It's a great question. There's not much I can say to where we are with that presently other than we're in the realm where we get to try a lot of different stuff, right. and that's really fun. Yeah. Um, for, our, for our initial prototype, we used a pretty conventional setup. Uh, conventional pedals, conventional throttle, stick. So it was, it, was a, it was a conventional setup. And that really enabled us to just hold that as a, as a fixed point, a constant. Um, so because we're, we're dealing with so many other new things, uh, we just felt it best. Um, so the only, the only additional thing we added to that uh, was what 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 
you know, what was analogous to a collective, right? So, because in order to fly our aircraft, we needed our pilots to be certified to fly both fixed wing, multi-engine, uh, IFR, obviously, and, and then they need to have a rotorcraft uh, cert. So. Right. Thank Get you ready. so much for your time.